Hi, I am Jason Schmidt. I am playing Christopher the Prince in Cinderella. All right. Well, Jason, thank you again for talking with us today. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, of course, audiences are very, very excited about Cinderella. It's a great holiday show. It is kind of a timeless tale that uh, keeps audiences coming back again and again. What do you think it is about the story of Cinderella that keeps us coming back for more? I think it's the fact that Cinderella, Cinderella and the prince find each other through genuine connection. Everywhere else in their life, they're pushed by this kind of artificial people, the step family, all about money and the things and the king and the queen want him to find like a good respectable wife and they find each other and it's not this these superficial things that draw them to each other it's the genuine connection that they share the way they see the world their similarities i think that's so special because it's it's a connection that anyone can find and and cinderella being the person that she is she doesn't come from money she kind of works for this family and she ends up with the prince it's it's a story of like the every man in a way, every woman in a way. I love that. And you know, it's true. It's it's not just, you know, this pre put together, like, hey, you're gonna marry this guy over here. Hope you like him. It is much more organic yeah. and it's, it is, I love the way that they do come together. Um, as far as your involvement with this project, tell us a little bit about how you got involved with this. Cause I know, I personally was introduced to you with the rise of the pink ladies, his buddy Aldridge, which was very exciting. And I loved that. There are some terrible videos of me doing old school grease back in the day that nobody ever needs to see, but like, <laughs> so I was really excited about it. Loved you in the show, but tell us how you got involved with this project. There are some terrible videos of me doing old school grease as well. <laughs> um, I got involved. I sent in a tape to the theater, um, Laura P who is the artistic line producer for Tuts is an old like high school director of mine. And so she had reached out and asked if I would be able to submit, submit a tape for it. And um, I love the show and it's like a perfect, perfect thing to perform around the holidays and get in that spirit. So, yeah. I love that. Now, one of the things that I do love about the show is the idea of the fairy godmother. And I was thinking about this the other day and I'm like, if I had a fairy godmother for a day, well, it would be a problem. But if you had a fairy godmother for the day, what would you ask her to to do or to help you with? <laughs> um, I would ask her. I was thinking about this the other day. I was on a call with my mom and my grandma. And when I started acting, I told my grandma that when I, you know, like hit it big, I was going to get her an RV because her dream and her and my grandpa's dream was to always travel the country in an RV. Um, I've yet to do that. So if I had a fairy godmother for the day, I would ask her to get grandma an RV. But like a legit one, not like a pumpkin that turns, you know, into an RV at midnight. To an RV. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they could, you could take okay. very short trips, grandma. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got till midnight, get wherever you that's, want. I mean, I don't even think that could get you out of Texas in some places, but that's all good. You know what though? I I love this for your grandma. I do. Yeah, yeah. She's uh, in So as far as going back to the show, one of the things that really helps bring a lot of this to life is of course the amazing costumes that you and Cinderella get to sport during the show. What can you tell us a little bit about the costume work that we're gonna get to see in the show? My stuff is so regal. I have a uh a kind of soldier fit for the search when I'm going around trying the shoe on different people. And there's the crowns, still trying to work out the size of the crown for me currently in Tech Week here, but it's going well. Um, and yeah, it's all, it's all, I think the thing that stands out the most for me is the gorgeous gowns that the, the ladies get to wear. They're beautiful. Um, the other thing I wanted to touch on is a little bit is about the sets. What can we expect from kind of the set design of the show? It's a big stage and there's some there's some beautiful sets in there. There's what they do a lot with um, images, like projecting images, projections, I guess you'd say, onto the background of things and helping, using that to help tell the story with the clock or the magic that happens. That's all, that's all the coolest part. And the step family's house is, has a gorgeous fireplace. Oh, it's gorgeous, yeah. I love that. I am very excited to see the show. Now, um, I know that you guys haven't opened just yet, but you're about to. 
Um, what is your favorite part of the show? Whether or not you're even in the scene or not, do you have a favorite moment overall with the show? Mm. I think it's, I think it's just getting to experience the magic of it. I think there's something about the the theater, the theater under the stars theater with the literal stars above you and it's huge and the stage is, is huge and telling this story that is so magical in a theater that feels so magical, I think that's my favorite part of it. Earlier this week, we stepped on the stage to start the tech, tech week process for the first time and I was just looking out and I and I felt it, you know, it was, it was a very cool feeling. And so I hope everyone in the audience has that same feeling as well when they see it. I'm excited. I think that you are going to have a lot of uh, young princesses ready to meet you at the stage door because they are going to be transported into this fairy tale world. And I am very excited for you guys for that. That is cool, for sure. Um, I always end on this question. Why do you think Houston audiences need to come on down to Theater Under the Stars and see Cinderella? Because everyone needs a little magic in their life. Right around the holidays, you're going to be with your family, you're going to be with your kids, and it's the perfect show to take the whole family to. There's something for everybody. It's nice and brief, and so you'll be in and out, and you'll get that hour and a half of just absolute transportation magic. You get to go home, have a cup of hot cocoa around the fire. If there's fires in Texas, I don't know if that's the thing you guys do here. It's pretty hot, but <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's 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 magical, and you're not gonna want to miss it for sure. Love that. Well, you guys can come on down. You can see Jason and the rest of the incredibly talented cast of Cinderella. The show will be playing December 5th through December 24th. Tickets are on sale at tuts.com. So come and have a magical holiday experience with Theater Under the Stars. Thank you so much, Jason, for talking with us today. I appreciate it. And uh, we will be seeing you guys real soon. This has been Ray with the Houston Film Fanatics. We'll catch you guys next time.